All right, guys, it's Gilly. Uh, I'm going to make a little video here that nobody's going to like too much, or maybe everybody will agree with, I don't know. But you're entitled to your opinion. So, um, I made a movie a little while ago called The Movement. Um, this is really the movement. Um, so here it goes. Um, you know, I'm a member of the Maine State Militia. Proud to say it. Um, we support the local sheriff's department in all uh, catastrophes, natural disasters, and at any given time that they ask for our help, we're there. Um, we are a legitimate group. We're not a three percenter. We are one of three percent, but we are not a three percenter group. Um, we believe in the old-fashioned militia value that only three percent of the population takes arms. Um, but we believe that we're an important part. Um, all right, so that being said, um, bottom line to this whole topic is what happens when the shit hits the fan? It doesn't matter what it is or how it happens. Is it an economic breakdown? Is it a true civil war? Is it a, um environmental condition, a plague, a famine, a something that causes a breakdown of the infrastructure of the normal society. So, taking that in consideration, that it, it's we're not too far away from that happening. Look at the heroin epidemic. We have the scourge of the world looking at us right now. Killing, stealing, robbing, spreading disease and petulance. For what? To die. To commit suicide on their own. To die by an injection in their arm. And we're paying for it. On top of all that, that's a bunch of crap too, but I'm just saying. So this stuff's going to happen eventually. It's going to happen. So what do we do? you got to think. And, you know, um, look at the Black Plague in Europe. The shit hit the fan. The plague came out. How did the plague start? It started by the rats. Hmm, there's a start. Started by the rats. Now, rats could be four-legged, they could be two-legged. But that plague started by the rats. Well, we've got a bunch of two-legged losers out there in this world that are doing things and uh, living a horrible lifestyle that are causing the plague. They're spreading AIDS. They're spreading hepatitis. They're spreading every other disease you could possibly think of around there. Wiping ourselves out internally. So... What happens when there's no food? What happens when the food source runs out? The rats come out of the woodwork. And what do those rats do? They invade. They have nothing on their mind but getting a food source and taking whatever they have to in the process and overtaking everything in their way and spreading disease and petulance. So if you take that as a metaphor to human beings, what's going to happen? The rats are going to come out of the cities. We all live in the woods. We all live in a rural environment. We have nice things. We work hard. We have things to show for what we work hard for. And we have some natural resources. Um, I happen to be prepared. People I know are prepared. We have a lot of natural resources. We have a lot of food. We have a lot of fuel. We have a lot of things ready so when those rats come out of the woods looking they're going to come looking hard and they're not stealing from me they're not going to take away from my family my livelihood the people I love and care about the friends and community that I protect they're not taking that those rats will not come from the city into my rural environment and steal what I have earned work for prepared for to be ahead of them to be the squirrel working all season so uh, that's not going to happen in my world I'm not going to allow it I truly believe that it's coming and if you take it into the uh, metaphorical principle I said or metaphoric principle I said however I'm saying it wrong whatever I don't care um The rats are going to come out of the woodwork when they have eaten up all their natural resources. 
in the city when the natural resources are gone, when the electricity is done, when the water is gone, it's all contaminated. There's no food left. All the tchotchke shops, hello, all the little mom and pop's convenience stores, all the Cumberland Farms, the Richdales, the Circle K's, the whatever's out there. When those are gone in the city, the 7-Elevens, the whatever, when those are gone, they're gone. They got nothing. When the grocery stores are empty, when the Sam's Clubs, the Costco's, all that stuff's gone, where are they going to go? They're going to come to where we live, kicking indoors, robbing barns, stealing fuel, doing anything they can to make out. And they ain't stealing from me. I worked way too hard. I'm working way too hard. I'm doing everything I can to prepare myself and my community so that this will never happen. So you can call me a fanatic or whatever else or what. I don't care what you call me. But I'm telling you that I have a conscientious understanding of the world around me. I know it's going to happen eventually. It's going to happen within my lifetime. And I know it. I'm 40 years old. I got another 40 before I'm dead. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. History repeats itself every seven years. Something's going to happen. So, taking that into consideration, don't let the rats get you. Never be the wolf. Never be the lamb. Be the wolf hunter. That's all I'm going to say. Peace and hair grease, hippies. Always keep your muzzle pointed in a safe direction. Keep on up with the Second Amendment. And long live the Republic.